Hey there, either hold or fire family, and welcome to Narjun Reacts. In this video, I'm going to react into The Dragon Prince Season 3, Episode 8. If you'd like access to the full unedited reaction, go join my Patreon. The link for it will be in the description down below. But anyway, let's get right into the video. Dragon Guard. I'm guessing Dragon Guard is probably the guy we left off with that Callum and Ray yeah. And Rayla were seeing or saw. The Dragon Queen has not opened her eyes in ten days. Maybe just poke her to see if she's alive? Is Are you just judging it based off of her eyes not opening? She may just been in a deep sleep. She's not... No, no, she's not dead. She lives and breathes, but she is not with us. Coma? I want to see her design so badly. Come on. Ibis. Ibis. Of the Skywing Elves. Okay, so you're a mage of the Skywing... Oh, interesting. So... I love seeing the different designs of each elves, like horns and ears. So, your ears are almost shaped like a fairy's wings. And I'm guessing that's intentional since they're sky, sky wing elves, that they're meant to look like wings of like a, maybe a dragon or a fairy. So your horns are more like that. Or like, yeah. They, it's more like this, whereas Moon shadow elves are more like straight pointed. It seems like so far, I think, unless I'm forgetting what uh, uh, Rayla's two father figures uh horns look like. Um, uh, and then the f sunfire elves were um, I think they had kind of a curvature too, but not quite like that. And they didn't have the ridges like this uh, if it. Avis? Is it Avis or Avis? Mage of the Skywing and Mage. My name is Ibis. Ibis. I said everything but I. <laughs> so Ibis is, has two ridges along his horn. Mage. So hmm. How many more elves are there again? Because we got we got Star Touched Elf, Moon Shadow Elf. Skywing, oh my god, all these names. Uh, if I can remember these, I'll be impressed with myself. Uh, Skywing Elf. Which one was uh, Lujan? Wasn't Lujan? Wasn't hers also Moonshadow, I think? Or was she a different one? I'm not sure. Um, I don't think she was a Star Touch either. Um, and then you have the Sunfire. So we have four, possibly five so far. So. Of the sky. I thought I could use my magic to help her. Mm. At least you tried. Her mate and her egg had irreparably broken her heart. My bad. Finally, she closed her eyes and has not opened them since. Come. Help. So wait. He says she lost her mate and egg, and she closed her eyes after that and hasn't woken up since. But then he didn't. Didn't Ibis just say that it's only been ten days? She lives and breathes, but she is not with us. Or was it he mentioned the days? It was before, right? Ten days. Ten days. So wait. Ten days. She's had her eyes closed. But then his wording here. Losing her mate and her egg had irreparably broken her heart. Finally, she closed her eyes. Okay, so I'm guessing from the words of finally she closed her eyes is that she hung on for, I guess, years. And then finally she closed her eyes. And then it's been ten days since. Okay. Not open them since. Come, I will show you. Wonder if Zim's gonna be the one to wake her up. It's okay, Zim. It's just your mommy. I'm telling you, it's gonna be like. We'll go in first. Okay, if Zim's not gonna go in yet, and she stays asleep, I'm betting you it's either gonna be, like his, like when he does go in, it's gonna be him that wakes her up. Aw, bait comforting him. <laughs> he's like a he's like an uncle or grandpa to Zim. Oh, we're seeing some of you. Oh, you're look cool. Okay, I'm gonna say it now. I like I like her design more than <laughs> Dad. Or Thunder. She's got her tail wrapped around the nest. Oh no, yeah, definitely. I'm yeah. Zim's definitely gonna be the one to wake her up, unless something like happens, like disturbs her or something. I think it's gonna be Zim. Are you gonna be able to communicate with her? 
How to train your dragon? I mean, at least she's alive and she doesn't seem sick. Like, are you gonna wake up? Zooming in on the eye. Okay. Just let Zim give her a little zap. I'm sure she'll wake up. This is where it happened, Callum. Where my parents ran away. I can't stop thinking about that moment. I wonder though, did they run away? I don't feel they did. Cause at least from the like the part like the moments I've saw I saw of them in the uh book, um, they didn't seem like the type that would have ran, at least not for a good reason. So the way her hand's shaking. I appreciate the little detail English. <laughs> I appreciate the little details. <laughs> We're going back to uh, Viren and them. Soren? Soren's got a goatee now? Or a stubble, I should say. Man, how long has he been riding for? Have he not slept at all? I'm gonna guess not, considering the state he's in. Okay, wait, has he been riding? I don't think he's going back to Catullus, is he? Is he going, is he going to the dragon or Rayla and Calamar? Here in Zadia. I don't think a domesticated horse can go back to being wild. Maybe you'll meet a nice uh, unicorn, huh? <laughs> unicorn. Prepare to be dominated. Are you? Uh... He is climbing up the mountain they're on. Oh my God, Sora! You just come all the way from not getting any sleep. Yeah. <laughs> you can do this. Oh. I believe in you. Maybe I shouldn't have. Done this. Armor. Probably not. And the fact you probably haven't had any sleep or anything to eat. Yeah, not the most brilliant idea. Red dragon? Hi. Oh, he's the one that cut off her horn. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, she can help him. Like, wait, um, yeah, he's the one that cut off her horse. Never horn. Never mind. It's like I should, but oh, is that you? He's gonna think the dragon speaking is Ezrin, right? Oh, sounding a little uh. <laughs> it's like here. This guy. This guy. Rayla. Stop asking questions. And help him. Oh right, breathing. You know, I'm not gonna lie, for a moment I forgot that Callum could just probably use air magic on him. I was thinking he was gonna have to do mouth to mouth, <laughs> and then it would've been like, everyone would've looked at each other like, Ezra would've been like, no, I'm not gonna do it, and then Rayla would've been like, don't look at me. And then Callum would've been like, oh, fine. <laughs> enough, enough, enough. His hair. This, the afterlife? <laughs> Heaven? Oh, it's still just the life. <laughs> it's just the life. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Rayla looking at Callum like, really? What are you doing here? <sighs> Hold on. Let me catch my breath. Give me a second to catch my breath. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. Oh yeah. So um, my dad kind of just killed the Sunfire Queen and took we uh, him and his uh, elf boy toy. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's more Viren is uh is a uh, freaking. Erevas is a boy toy at that point. Um, you know, they, they, yeah, they killed the Sunfire Queen. They took the powers from the Sun Elves, and now they're riding off to, you know. All doomed. Oh, it's just we're going to just go to with all doomed. Not even explain. Oh, are you going to now? After a nice hot it's cup of tea. And he used it to transform his armies I appreciate the detail of how his cheeks and nose are all red because of how cold it is. Because that, that's what happens to your skin, it fl uh, flushes, so. Into something Actually, you know what, why am I saying that when even like Rayla and Calum have had it like that? For him, the dragon. <laughs> Freaking Zim sound of like, like me, why? And then he's like looking around like, what, not me. You know what? I've done that before, so 
That's one thing you and I have in common, Sorn. I did use the word doomed. Yes, you did. Hey, I don't have enough uh, liquid. Ibis, was it? Yeah, before this army of darkness is upon us. Before we're doomed. You don't have wings. Sorry, is that rude? Is it? Uh, it's is that racist? We met another Skywing <laughs> elf, and she had wings, so. Oh, Ni Nix. Yeah, uh, Nix had. Oh, so she was a Skywing elf. Makes sense. So wait, I wonder. Do females have wings, but males don't? Or is it that Ibis had his cut off or something? Maybe it's punishment? My ego is unharmed. <laughs> My ego is unharmed. My ego is not so fragile. But fewer than one in ten of us are born with wings. Oh. Of the rest of us, only a rare few can learn to do this. Oh, so he's even rarer. What is that? He's the real crow man. You know what? Forget crow master and crow apprentice. This should be the the crow crow god. Crow king. Yeah, you know what? Forget yeah. Make, make him the crow king or whatever. <laughs> you have got to teach me how to do that. <laughs> I don't think you could do that. Teach you. <laughs> um my apologies, but a human cannot. <laughs> Wait, didn't Ibis see Callum perform the like breath spell earlier? Or I guess not. Look, I've heard of <laughs> his face. Oh. Before. Such a thing is unheard of. There's a first thing time for anything. But if I may offer instead some helpful advice. Go back home. Leave. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, but that's only that's only gonna what is it? Uh, p not pause. That's only gonna prevent. No, hold off. I don't know what the word is, but it's just gonna hold off the inevitable, pretty much. Like if they run away, but then like let's say the dragon queen dies, uh, a bunch of elves die, like Zadie is conquered, like they're not gonna be safe forever. Well, did you get him to teach you any neat sky spells? No. Tornado punch. Lightning lash, storm sneeze. I love how she's literally making up silly names like he does. Maybe leaving is the right thing to do. Say for how long? Yes, I agree. Okay. Of course, Soren is in the very back with his arms like wave and just flopping. I'm not going with you. What? You and Ezrin should take. You're gonna stay with the dragon. Oh my gosh, she's gonna stay with the dragon queen because she doesn't want to be like her parents and abandon their posts and the and the. But you can't face an entire army by yourself. You die, probably. But if I die, I'll just be paying the price they should have paid a long time ago. You shouldn't be paying the price of your parents in the first place. You don't even know for sure that they did abandon their posts. Just. Remember. What if they got? What if her parents got like sucked into the coin, like a, uh, like a uh, Runan did? Me. Okay. Ba, ba, Nana. You're not no. even giving him a choice. So that's it. Just goodbye. Mm -hmm. You're gonna stay here and die out of pride. It's not <laughs> pride, Callum. It's honor. More than. Do you have a nicer word for it? Honor, redemption. It's just pride. Don't let your parents' mistakes drag you down. Mm -hmm. I know you feel... Then you don't know me at all. You never did. I saw those ear the ears go down. I saw the ears droop. You don't have to leave. I still think Sim is gonna wake up mom. I wonder if it could... Wake up. Oh. Bring back the past? Is he gonna try to wake up mom? Or is he gonna try and see? Is he gonna try and see what happened with Rayla's parents and look back to the future? Yeah, okay. Nah, I, I feel that. It's either that or he's gonna see. Are we gonna find out exactly what happened with the egg now? What really happened here? Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I wanna see, I wanna see. Oh. He's like, it worked. <laughs> I just think he had to crush it though. I guess the. Loosen the magic? Is 
Oh, sure. Cut off from the, the history lesson. You really did see them. When Man, he drew fast. Vyrin came to destroy the egg. Some of the Dragon Guard did run. But not your parents. All of the others have... If there's any chance, we must stay in fight. They have voices. Soon. And make myself a target. Are you mad? Why aren't you a selfish one? Oh, I'm sensing the coins. I'm sensing the coins. There's the mirror, too. Oh, so you have a sword that's like a chain as well. I forgot what those are called. <laughs> Purin took a <laughs> nice little fall. Oh, taking the voice or breath? Oh, that's the thing that gave breath. So can it also take away breath? Oh no, that's the f oh, it's the ice one. Never mind. I think he just can't talk. It's what he did to uh, Callum earlier in, in season one. Yeah. Does Erevoss stop him? It could be a powerful weapon. Why would you destroy it? What are you doing? Keeping it alive. Don't Shush. Waste it. And because he's so power driven. You make a good point. How might I repay you? By sparing your life. He's gonna put them in the coin. He's gonna put them in the coins. I swear. I have just the faith in mind. Oh, please tell me it's the coins, because that means we can get they back Runan in them. They fought to the end. They saved the egg. All because of them. There you go. I had a feeling our parents were going to be deserters. Together? We should decide together. <laughs> you used it together word, of course. Oh, together. If she'll wake up. I think she's just so depressed. We have a choice to make. Uh, hi. Uh, I, I know. I... <laughs> hi, I'm here. I exist. <laughs> I'm. Can I say something? Sure. I've known Viren longer than anyone here. I mean, he is your dad. He's my dad. And he's only gonna get more powerful, and the more powerful he gets, the more people will listen to him, and believe him, and follow him. So, maybe we could run, and we'd be safe for a while, but he's not gonna give up. Go Soren. Well, we're all together. Mm-hmm. Not split up and run. Is, is to look evil in the face and say, no more. Wow, Soren. <laughs> Are we gonna get a butt, though? You are more than just a big dumb lump, aren't you? Maybe a little more. A little more. So we stay. All of us. We all agree? Yes. Here, here. <laughs> but there's something else. Come outside. What? Oh, hello, Manticore? Chimera? Oh! Yay, Maya! <laughs> Sunfire Elf? Sunfire Elf? Hello. Isn't it Janai? Janaya? Of course you could pick them both up. I love the Manticore or, or Chimera. Our friend. The sign language. I love how this goes. Hi. <laughs> Looks like you have an elf friend now too. We are not friends. That's because you're more, aren't you? <laughs> I'm sorry the way she went. We are not friends. <laughs> it's like okay, soon today. <laughs> she is my prisoner. Uh huh. That's why you don't have her in prison anyway. She reformed. She doesn't understand, right? Because she needed the translator to under uh, the other translator to translate the sign language, so she doesn't understand. She's gonna I be like, Janai. so it is Janai. Okay. Golden, what's left of them? They wait oh. at the bottom of the storm spire. Okay, so it's more than I thought. We want to fight. Have more guts and balls than your their other the other Skywing elf did that abandoned Rayla's parents. <laughs> then we will need all the help we can get. Good. Manus. Good, Iba. <laughs> Fire dragon saying, uh, I got. I love the throat vibration for the roar. 
Dragons? More dragons? Oh, if we get Soul Regum, I don't think he'll help because humans and everything, but maybe if it's to kill Viren and other like a dark mage and other humans, maybe he'll do it. I don't know. That'd be cool. Coming up on the badass finale of the season. I think. Hopefully it's not a bad ending to the season. This is it. <laughs> Holy lord. That means if he's if he took the shadow uh, moon shadow elves uh, powers and they'd be able to turn invisible in the moon. Man, that'd be a scary combo. You're even bigger. What the fuck? <laughs> Look at that smile on his face. He's so like. <laughs> Jeez. I just see Thunder's body in the distance. Hey. Find out next time in the <laughs> season finale. Oh good lord. Wait, we're we not. I thought we were about I thought we were about to get the uh <laughs> like a no uh drawings ending and I was like, oh then oh they hit me with freaking uh thunder and his mate with Zim Zay. Nah. No, no, it's mean. Of course, freaking Luz Luzan or I was saying it's Lujan, Lujan. I think it's Lujan. Uh, oh wait, I just realized in the other episode with her, with the drawing of her, she was the one like courting him and like trying to trick him. But now he's courting. Are they gonna have a? Th Did I predict that where predict that where she was gonna end up falling for him, even though she meant to trick him? Ah, oh, Rayla and her parents. <gasps> Young Rayla. Can we get a freaking? I really want a flashback episode of Young Rayla. I want more. I want her <laughs> animated. At least we got the parents' voices, because in the book, you know, you don't have any voice. Oh, a little soaring with the dragon. Plushy. Oh, there's uh, Iba. Okay, so there's her parents again. Yeah, she's uh, she's got the chain sword. I forgot what they're called. If they even have a specific t name for them. Okay, well, uh, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts. All right, so that was a good episode that's leading to the final episode of this season. Um, you got Soren, who has now turned completely a new leaf and is completely against Viren. I don't, definitely not against Claudia. And like he said, he sees his dad now for who he is, whereas Claudia is obviously still in denial of it. Um, I'm hoping she realizes that, I hope. But I know some of you said a while back that one of the siblings... Uh, I think it was down a dark path as well, and I felt it was Claudia. I was hoping not, but I felt that Soren was too kind of, not gullible, but not someone that could be evil. I don't know, it just didn't feel like it, whereas Claudia felt like she could go down that path where she maybe, because she already, like, made love animals and thinks they're cute, but she has no problem, like, killing them and stuff. Whereas Soren, like, when it came down to, like, having to kill Ezrin, like, he was going to do it, but he did doubt it a lot. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I think he would have gone through with it with the, the, at least the one with the wire that he was trying to send Ezrin across and, and cut it. If Rayla hadn't gotten in the way, I think he would have gone through with it. But he felt really bad for it, whereas, I mean, Claudia's felt bad too, but she's embraced the dark magic a lot more. Like, and I, I don't think it helped either when Soren's spine was damaged and she did that killing the deer. Uh, or siphoning the magic from the deer to heal him. I think that pushed her even further into the darkness. Or or into that dark magic stuff. Um, so yeah, I get the feeling Claudia's definitely going to be the sibling that's going to go down the uh, dark path. Because uh, Soren, with the, I can't see him switching from where he's gone right now. Like he, um, I'm glad. Eh, like, I would have, no. I like Soren the way he is now. Like, he definitely is kind of like that bumbling idiot, but he's like a sweetheart and like, is like cares about others and wants the best. But Claudia's also got that side of her where she's very sweet and stuff and everything. And she does, like, she wants what's best for Soren and like her dad and stuff. But it's like she lets herself get clouded. Like, she does, she's in denial of Viren being the way he is. She didn't want Soren to leave, but that's because she didn't want to be apart from him and stuff. But even him leaving wasn't enough for her to go with him it's like no i'm gonna stay with dad so yeah um i was hoping neither of them would go evil but if i had to pick now i would say soren before it was claudia because i really like claudia's personality but the more she's gone down like that darker path 
yeah, no, Soren, keep keep sweetie Soren. <laughs> um, but yeah, then you have uh, we have more of the Skywing elves. Um, uh, we got to see the Dragon Queen. Um, I want to see her wake. I really want to. I really feel it's gonna be Sim that wakes her up. Um, then we had finding. We got to find out about. Rayla's parents, and as I thought, they did not run away. They fought to the end, which I still think there's a possible. Like we didn't see what exactly happened with them. Like they were frozen, and like Callum said that you know they fought to the end. But I feel like maybe the illusion cut off before they got sealed into coins. But I feel like they did because he got still Renan in them, or in his coin. So and he and Viren did say, uh. Like, I'll give you a different fate. So, I feel like it's similar to Renan, where he's gonna... He sealed them in coins. Um, which would be good, because that means they're alive. So, Rayla's not, you know, parentless. But, I don't know when that would come into play, if it if that is the case. Um, but, yeah. Uh, forces are gathering, getting ready for... I'm really curious, somehow, this... Like, a war like this, I feel like, would be something that would be more for, like, season... Well, this is season three, so actually it's fitting. I, it feels like it's only season two, but I forget we're already on season three. And I know, like, season six, I think, was just... Pre not premiered. Um, was just shown? Or, uh, like, a teaser for it came out, I think, or something like that? Or announced or something like that? So, I guess... I think I felt like a... Well, I guess it could be a more... It's a battle, but not a full-out... No, this is a war. Um, because it's war against Zadia. Um, so yeah, I wasn't expecting a more like this until, like, maybe, like, the second to last season of the series. But maybe this is still gonna be a war that leads to, like, it leads to something else that's a bigger problem that obviously... It's gonna have to be a bigger problem for the series finale, so... Wonder, is Vera get killed and then Claudia takes over? And then it's, her, it's about her story? Hmm, it'd be interesting. I don't know. I don't, I don't think Erevoss is gonna die. Definitely not, because he's technically not there in physical form. He's just his, like, astr astral projection form. So I don't- he's not gonna die, I don't think. In fact, he may even be the villain, because he- he is plotting something. Like, he's using Veer or something, so I wonder- Plus, he's got the caterpillar thing that's now huge. Um, or big, at least. So it's huge compared to what it was before. Um, so he could be- he could very- what if it's him and Claudia? I don't know. I mean, he did say she's an asset for the future, so could very well be him and Claudia that become the villains for the series finale. Mm. Oh God, <laughs> the angst potential. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, overall plot for this episode was great. Characters were great. Animation was great, and uh, music was. Do you really notice it too much? But music was good too. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Have a wonderful morning, afternight, and keep bringing bright. See ya!